you notice straight up here, I've opened it up. Use the units up to that here, making it very tight to get in now. And as we enter, you can see there's my lovely sofa bed, which I've just reupholstered, remade the whole thing pretty much. I put a nice little drawer in here, which doubles up bedside table. Nice little secret compartment for shoving me bits. The arms of the sofa double up as little side tables. All the walls have been recarpeted, the ceiling's been recarpeted. Plenty of insulation in the walls behind it. Over the cab, you'll see this used to be a big open space. I had my bedding thrown in there and such. Now I've made a cupboard out of it. In actual fact, I remade the whole thing, making this padded because I used to smack made on it all the time. And I've actually scalloped that out there now. So when you're getting up from this seat here, from this seat here, you're not bashing your head on it. Um, and then the sliding doors. Which still holds on my bedding and such. Torch is back where it used to be, except now it's constantly powered, so it's always on charges. That one I fitted ceiling lights there, that side, and over the kitchen there. And here we've got a main switch at the doorway one, two, three, and there we have the lights on. The roof windows, which used to have little elasticated curtain things on, I made these blinds for them. Um, made them out of leftovers from the kitchen window blind, which I'll show you in a minute. Shelves I've redone, much bigger, much more solid, and they're hiding the tops of the curtains now. And my night light now is passing on to there. You see a little drawstring, nice bright light there for you, so we can have the rest of them off. The TV's back in the usual place. I've recovered all the walls, as you'll see, this is now the leather vinyl. Instead of that horrible holes everywhere wall that I had before. Um, I've not put the iPod player there. It's now on that shelf there, because I've got a nice big deep shelf here now. Whereas I didn't have one there before, with just a little thing that was of no use at all. The kitchen. Now then, we start off with... You see, nice worktop, nice big, long worktop that I made with a nice bull nose, just to give it some shape and a bit of character. And then we've got the sink and the hob. There's the sink, and there's the hob. All nicely working away there. There's no water in it at the moment because I've not filled it up, but it works. And the kitchen window you'll see is much reduced into just a side square over the window it's over the uh, hob itself which is all i needed now the base units what i've got here is first one i've got a shelf there which is useful for putting my cup on as you can see my ashtray or whatever else you want to put on there just keeps this top clear with um, so you've got more space to work with. Underneath, we've got the gas cupboard. Now in the gas cupboard, apart from the gas bottle, we've got the control valves. I put three of them, each one operating an individual item. Um, they're pretty much self-explanatory. We've got red for the fire, white for the fridge, and blue for the hob. Easier not to forget. Next, going along, I've got a drawer that's made. Just folding all sorts of bits of junk. Underneath a double cupboard, which is going to be my food cupboard. Empty at the moment because I can't afford any food. Um, but soon all the food will be in there. I've carpeted it, the base so things don't slide around. And they're good catches on there to keep them closed. Then I've got the microwave. Now the microwave is the only thing that is electric. There's 240 volts. Everything else in this camper van is run from 12 volts. However, that is also run from 12 volts via an inverter. So it's obviously it takes a lot of power to run it, but 
microwaves as you know is you don't need them for very long so um, I can just turn on the inverter do my microwaving turn it back off again and will have used very little power at all and nothing else needs electric so that was the ideal solution for it below that I've got the pan, I've got the pan drawer then we've got the fridge now if you remember from before this used to be a chocolate brown colour what I did once I got it out and serviced it I got a matching paint for the microwave uh, just an appliance silver spray paint sprayed the centre in white just to match the kitchen units I use the same I use the same spray paint to do the plug sockets and switches to get everything to match and the reason I had to do that is this architrave switch you can only get them in white plastic and I didn't want white plastic everywhere next going along just shift my bin out of the way we've got another drawer at the top which is full of cutlery then below that I've got my water cupboard in there and a little shelf at the end there just a space so I've used it hold my tray and a few bits and bats drop everything on the floor that's it <coughs> moving up put a little shelf in there just hold my soaps and bits and bats kettle on a hook so it don't fly around all over the place then one wall cupboard another double wall cupboard and another double wall cupboard I'll put square plates in because they fit better you can have bigger plates and the last one underneath we've got the cooker hood that I made in episode 18 I think it was and you see lights up the surface very nicely when I'm cooking washing whatever just gives me that illumination where it's needed on the other side first we've got the wardrobe now the wardrobe and toilet is pretty much laid out as it was except I've made new doors I've redone the walls and the zig unit's still in the top where it was but the wiring's all been redone first inside the wardrobe you'll notice I put trays on the wall on the door of the uh, wardrobe just to give me extra storage I can throw things in there as I open the door the light came on now it's because of a, this little pillar switch here it just turns the light on and off as the door opens and closes inside I put new shelves at the bottom and spare ga gas bottle is strapped in the very bottom there and then as we go up, a couple of hooks, my umbrella, should I need it, and the bar to hold out the horning, and there is all my electrics. Everything for the van comes back to that point there, and then that connects direct into the zig unit. A plug socket up there, and the air will supply. The plug sockets for the TV should ever be lucky enough to have electric coming to the van, which I'm not planning on. Then the toilet, switch on the door, in we go, there's a magazine toilet, a uh, little cupboard on the wall there, you uh, can't see it very well because there's a mirror, um, spare toilet walls above it, and the light at the top. Back door, I'll put a blind on, instead of a curtain, shove the clock in there, Run straight from the battery and my first aid kit. And then to the cab. Now the first thing you'll notice, the seats. I've reupholstered them. And I've redone the visors. I've redone the roof. I've put in new courtesy lights. One there and one down the far end of the van. Over there. So when you open the doors, they both come on at the same time. 
didn't have one before. Um, I put a light into the glove compartment. I put a light into the cigarette ashtray because they didn't have one before. Um, oh, and they did. The doors didn't have any door pockets, so I used the same paper trays, covered them in vinyl, and fastened them to the doors. Two on each door. So now I've got some pockets, which serve the purpose well. And lastly, of course, curtains. All nice new curtains all round. And that's the van.